prisoners do not release anyone else. It's, it's not like prisoners release the, pol the police guard and say, thank you for your service. Uh, please go home. Spend time with your family, with your loved ones. You don't need to be here guarding the prison. We will guard it ourselves. We just relax, take a day off or two or a week or go on a vacation, whatever. Leave, leave the prison to us. We will guard it. We will take care of it. No, no problem. Everything will be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I want you to quietly get into your room. Slowly go towards your drawer. Carefully open the drawer and take your Sherlock Holmes hat and put it on because the game is afoot. Welcome to IELTS Juice. Let's start assessing an essay with crime and criminals in it. Keep the hat on all the time, please. Studies show that crime rates are lower among those with educational degrees. Therefore, the best way, that's the key word here, the best way to reduce the crime rate is to educate criminals while they are still in prison. So we know, so this is fact. It's presented to us as a fact. We know that those who are better educated commit fewer crimes or tend to offend less. Whereas those who may not have enough degree, or may not have a good degree or have enough education, they commit more crimes. So as a solution to tackle this issue, IELTS is, or the IELTS test is offering us the best solution on the table which is to teach criminals in prison, turn prison into university, the University of Prison, UOP. Okay, don't Google it. I don't know if <laughs> such a university exists or not. So what's the IELTS uh, essay type? To what extent do you agree or disagree? Basically, IELTS wants to presents us, uh, uh, sorry, basically IELTS wants to present us with this question. Educating criminals in prison is the best solution to tackle crime. Do you agree or disagree? Your answer should be yes or no, whether you agree that this is yes, the best, the most effective, or no, there are other solutions. If it is the best, then you just need to basically say it and support it. Yes, it's the best because of reasons A, B, C, whatever, and you support your opinion. But if you believe that this is not the best and there are other alternatives, then you need to say, okay, you just need to say, well, all right, if this is not the best, then where is it? And then what the other alternatives are. With that in mind, let's look at the candidate's response. Make sure you keep your, your Sherlock Holmes hat on. It is widely argued that individuals with higher educational degrees are less offenders. Uh, uh, there's no way I can correct it because we, this this is people. This word refers to human beings, offenders. Uh, they are less offenders kind of means that they're amateur offenders. I'm sure the writer did not want me to get that message, so they 
offend less or they commit fewer crimes or they're more likely not to offend. We're looking for a, a phrase or a combination of words in that area. Compared to those without any educational history, history is a very big word. Maybe background is better. While I agree that education should be considered as should be considered as a key determiner or determiner to in minimizing so of this the crime rates, so we minimize crime rates. Other stimulators, okay, should not be refused. Now, that's a very formal way of uh, politely disagreeing that, yes, this is not the best solution. And by this, I mean uh, educating prisoners in prison is not the best solution, but it's among the best. So that we have, it's, it's, a, it's a bit more crowded there from the writer's perspective. And there are other elements equally effective. Good. Let's see. In the following essay, I will state my reasons. Sure. Let's hear your reasons. This is not a very good, very strong topic sentence. It works. You know, it's like, how can I put it? Well, you know, candy is candy. If you're hungry, you can have a candy and it, well, helps, but it's not lunch. So it kind of does the job, but not, not, not in the best way possible. So this is kind of like a, a, a candy here. And the following essay, I will state my reasons. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to read your opinion. Who, who else has attended the IELTS test? It's you and it's your paper. So it's not like at the IELTS test, you ask somebody to write the response for you. That would be, that, that has a name actually, it's called cheating. Anyway, don't do that. Don't, don't do any cheating, please. On the one hand, having much is not a good word uh, for positive sentences. I don't see any negative or any questions. That's why having a lot of free time and leisure time. Yeah, both of them are the same thing. Without any utmost aims, maybe very, many, any, without any high goals can be turned, how many words I'm changing? Uh, I mean, I love the sentences, I love grammar so far, but words, I'm constantly changing words. Aims can be turned into committing the crime in the long run, not the crime, committing a crime. Which crime? The crime, no, committing, Committing a crime in the long run. Okay, I, I understood the topic sentence. So if you have too much time at hand and you have no goals, you tend to commit crime. In other words, those who spend their precious time, I like the word precious, on studying and striving to make a degree, I love the word striving, but you spend the, the precious time studying. You don't need to spend, I mean, this is, yeah, it's not necessary. And striving to make a degree seem to be extremely occupied with their studies. Makes sense. Therefore, it is a beneficial idea to educate people who hold in captivity, ah, who are held in captivity, uh, 
because prisoners are held by prison guards in captivity. And I love the word captivity. It is a genre-specific word. It is used for crime and prisons. It's good. And in the comma, they would apply their education to find a job after releasing, after being released back to the community. Again, prisoners do not release anyone else. It's, it's not like prisoners release the, pol the police guard and say, thank you for your service. Uh, please go home, spend time with your family, with your loved ones. You don't need to be here guarding the prison. We will guard it ourselves. We just relax, take a day off or two or a week or go on a vacation, whatever. Leave, leave the prison to us. We will guard it. We will take care of it. No, no problem. Everything will be a-okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so the, after being released because a judge or a police officer or a prison guard will release the criminals inside that prison. All right, I like this. I like this paragraph. We. We said, yes, educating them in prison is good. It's a good idea because if they have a lot of time, they it's better to, to be spent uh, learning something. And that's precious. And when they learn something, they can apply that onto a new job, basically, or apply for a job either way. Uh, you apply for a job and you get you get a job, you work, you, you will be beneficial to the community that you live in. All right. However, uh, this is the paragraph that we are supposed to come up with some other besties here. <laughs> I mean, like one, the best, and now it's not the best. It's not the only best. There are other areas here. However, Crime rates can be influenced dramatically by other fundamental factors, such as poor family background, poverty, comma, and striking up unhealthy friendships. Good. Uh, okay, but the sentence continues. Uh, up to this point, could have made a very good topic sentence, but no, the sentence continues, which are not only diminishing, which are not only diminishing the crime rates, huh? but also worsening them. Uh, if you diminish, diminish, bring down crime rates, that's good. This sentence to me means poverty, bad family background, poor family background, and bad friends will bring down the crime rates, which is the opposite. It actually increases the crime rates. The rates of crime will go up if you have bad family background and you have more poverty and you have a bunch of cronies or gangs around you, the crime rates go up actually, not diminish. Diminish is something we, we, we want to do with our solutions, but we are just presented with the problem, not the solutions. That's a bit confusing. What I mean, uh, let's see, by this is that individuals from badly off families, not very common, and who are rubbing shoulders with the offenders, with offenders in general, well, not like the offenders. There's so many the communities that we don't know, the offenders, we don't know. Referencing is an issue here. 
can become more engaged to committing a broad range of crimes. Okay, I get, I get the message. Yes, I mean, yeah, if you have bad families and friends, sure, you will, you will have, you will, you are more likely to commit crimes. Good. But that is not diminishing the crime rate. Actually, it increases the crime rate. You are, you're, you, you are supposed to say uh, whose solutions will bring down crime. If, if we, if governments, if us, I don't know, if, if anybody is going to do anything about this, then we, it will diminish the crime rates. But I don't have that kind of structure here. It's missing. All things considered, okay, now we are, I mean, that's it. What about development? What about, uh, we, we were presented with three main points, poverty, friendship, family background. Where are the developments for these three? It, it, it's missing, it should be here, but it's missing. All things considered, although facilitating criminals facilitating criminals with education okay while they are in prison could be considered as a crucial factor in minimizing crime rates yes not that that it, now it is used correctly providing the rehabilitation centers and the counselors with one uh, oh no that's correct yeah and counselors uh, different spelling british english american english could be advantageous as well. No comma, please. Providing rehabilit I, I don't need the rehabilitation centers generally. And counselors could be advantageous as well. Personally, I believe that a wide range of services apart from education should be employed. Uh, mm, good word. It is used accurately here. In prisons, to make prisoners law-abiding citizens and reduce the ratio of crime. Yeah, you, you, you're, yours, your job is to come up with ways to, to reduce the ratio of crime. This is what we want to do. 261 words. No wonder there is, uh, I, I, it was lacking development here in this paragraph. I really wanted some more sentences, but they weren't there. Anyway, let's move on and look at the band descriptors. Oh, yes. I had issue, multiple issues with vocabulary. Uh, a couple of words were used skillfully. I mean, the, I mean, the word was used correctly, but I had my issue was not this my issue was that it the, the the use was correct but the context was the opposite so i received the opposite message and uh, that's why it doesn't matter you, you it has to be used correctly and conveys the correct message otherwise if if you use it correctly with it with perfect spelling with good I don't know, words before and after it, you, you know how to use it, if it's countable, uncountable, whatever, but you know how to use it correctly. And you use it, but the message is completely the opposite, then it doesn't give me, it doesn't give me any chance but to say that, yeah, it was confusing. I, it was hard for me to understand. I had to constantly come up with sentences, so that's why. My main focus throughout this essay was vocabulary. Uh, grammar was fine, again, with some parts that we had passive voice. We had active voice instead of passive voice. Imagine if you don't use your English correctly. Really, if you are the, uh, like, the, 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 the main supervisor of a prison, and you don't use your words accurately, you really might release the guards and let the prisoners out or let the prisoners control the prison. 
it's very important to use to know which which tense or which grammar you use or which voice you, you you try to employ is it passive one or active one who the subject is your order is directed at the police guard or the prisoners it's very important that's why english matters <laughs> I am I'm taking it very seriously because your decision later on might affect the lives of a lot of people. All right, the coherence and cohesion I had multiple issues with referencing and I also had I mean paragraphing come on there uh, the, the second body paragraph had two sentences 60% of uh, the whole paragraph was the first sentence that was the, the topic sentence and I, I didn't I didn't like that the topic sentence gave away a lot of details that's not the job of a topic sentence topic sentence must act as a gateway the information follows you know and yes I needed development for the three ideas presented I understood the writer's opinion and it is the task has only one main idea, which is the writer's opinion. It was addressed and developed. But the other areas, the three elements, poverty, poor background, poor family background, and bad friendship. I mean, although all those three elements were not properly developed. All in all, it's 5.5. I'm not happy with this because this could have been a better uh, essay, but stays at 5.5. But good for us, because we learned a lot. You can now safely take off your Sherlock Holmes hat, and you can see how effective your language can be, and you know why you're watching these videos, because your sentences matter, your English matters, and certainly, they will act as your representatives. This time was an essay. Maybe it will be a report or a letter, depending on the module that you, you, that you will take. Whatever it is, make sure that they will be very, very, very thorough representatives of your messages. On that note, I wish you a lovely day ahead.